Hello everyone and welcome back to the Flectus channel. An aircraft carrier is not just a ship, but an entire city floating in the ocean, acting as a base for launching and recovering aircraft. The United States has a total of 11 aircraft carriers to carry out missions, which sometimes take several months to complete. The crews working on these ships have spent almost all their operational lives at sea. However, working on these behemoths isn't all fun. The sailors counter several challenges, like working long hours, having the same boring routine, and repeatedly meeting the same group of people. For this reason, the crews sometimes participate in leisure activities to relax their minds. They take part in an interesting ritual known as swim calls. As the name suggests, the crew jumps into the ocean for a nice long swim. The senior officers sometimes encourage the sailors to jump from different heights to showcase their skills. And extra points are rewarded for cannonballs and dives. Ultimately, everyone gets a nice break from work, which fosters camaraderie among sailors. Another common activity for relaxation is steel beach picnics on the flight deck. These gatherings include laid-back games like golf, sumo wrestling, tricycle racing, playing catch and cards, and experiencing the social life that the sailors crave during months-long missions. After all, food is a vital aspect of a picnic. So the crews get served with beers, hot dogs, and pies. These fun and engaging activities underscore the importance of balancing work with leisure, ensuring the crew remains motivated to perform vital tasks at sea. Sometimes the sailors really desire to be with their families, especially on days like Halloween and Thanksgiving. But due to their hectic jobs, they are forced to stay on the aircraft carrier. These events are observed with great enthusiasm as well, fostering a sense of normalcy and festivity amidst the rigorous naval routine. On Thanksgiving, the crews often celebrate with unique traditions like pie-eating contests, adding a competitive edge to the festivities. An aircraft carrier functions properly with the efforts of some unsung heroes behind the scenes on the mast deck. This group plays a vital role in providing nutrition to the entire crew on board. The mast deck is a designated area on the aircraft carrier where sailors socialize and eat communally. All meals are prepared and served on the mast deck in a dining room managed by culinary specialists. 
These are professionally trained personnel who bring their skills aboard the aircraft carrier to prepare food and give relief to sailors in other branches by performing domestic chores like washing dishes. Dishes are washed by food service assistants in specified areas known as sculleries. Most of the time, new sailors recruited as mess cooks don't actually cook. They clean the mess, galley, and scullery areas, as well as manage the accessories required to prepare the food. Although sculleries on the aircraft carrier have an industrial dishwasher, the recruits still have to scrub many items by hand to ensure everything is clean. Unsurprisingly, an aircraft carrier galley is bustling with activity, like a large restaurant kitchen that provides tasty meals to keep the crew's morale high. Throughout the deployment, the culinary experts cook and ensure they deliver whatever the sailors desire. Despite not actively participating on the battlefield, these cooks play a vital role in the crew's overall performance. The culinary experts follow a menu cycle that often lasts for 15 days on average. We do follow the basic FSM recipe, the Navy recipe for it. I don't change the dough. I'll put things in it, but I don't change the dough. So you spread it out, ice, kind of like a pizza pie. We are very lucky that we have the Duchess. She is a dough roller. So we make the dough, and then she will literally roll it into balls like that. <laughs> they plan their strategy around efficient time management and rise early at 6 a.m. to provide breakfast to the crew on time. After breakfast, the ship's captain gives briefings for the day to the sailors. The significance of the aircraft carrier's sanitation process cannot be neglected. Another corner back there, another set of racks. Every part of the ship is thoroughly sanitized to safeguard the crew from diseases, especially in the close quarters of the aircraft carrier. The sanitation process is not a task for a select few. It requires the participation of all hands on deck. Throughout the day, the crew members engage in multiple cleaning and disinfecting routines in a collective effort to maintain a healthy environment. Not only do these efforts showcase the carrier's adaptability and resilience, but they also maintain the crew's operational readiness at sea. When fully manned, an aircraft carrier is home to as many as 5,000 personnel. Therefore, the sleeping quarters, known as berthing compartments, are extremely tight. The personnel aboard the carrier share a compartment with about 60 other people, sleeping in single bunks called racks, crammed together in stacks of three. Each Marine gets a small stowage bin and an upright locker where they keep their personal belongings. Every rack on board includes a separate bed, one standard pillow and pillowcase, two standard Navy sheets, and one standard wool blanket. Moreover, the bed is also equipped with curtains extending from one end to another for privacy. The fitness of the crew is a top priority, which is why every aircraft carrier has a separate morale, welfare, and recreation division that hosts several exercises to maintain the crew's fitness. One of the most common exercises is the 5K Fun Run, conducted on the aircraft carrier's flight deck. The personnel place cones on the flight deck to mark a course and then run through the course to burn calories. 
Sometimes things get out of hand aboard the aircraft carrier, which requires the crew to run from one end of the aircraft carrier to another to perform operations. Hence, the 5K fun run allows the crew to be fully fit for such a scenario. The United States Navy conducts a physical fitness assessment, or PFA, to determine the fitness of the sailors. If sailors fail this test, they are not sent back home. Instead, they stay on the aircraft carrier and improve their physical fitness with the gym accessories available inside the hangar bay. They undergo what's called a fitness enhancement program to improve their fitness and avoid separation from the United States Navy due to PFA failure. Additionally, sports play a significant role in life at sea, with basketball tournaments being a popular choice. They offer both physical exercise and a sense of competition. The hangar bay includes a separate basketball court where crews compete in a three-on-three -three basketball tournament to relieve stress and take a break from their hectic work lives. It lets them uh, get out and be competitive. Competitive nature always brings out the best in people. And so it helps that, by that, it helps them relieve stress. Now, there are close to 180, 958 active personnel in the United States Navy. Do you remind me? Some were singers, actors, or maybe even dancers before enlisting. So the aircraft carrier USS Nimitz becomes a stage for showcasing these diverse talents, with competitions like Nimitz Idol. During this event, the sailors showcased their singing abilities, along with their talent for instruments like the guitar. Such events allow these sailors to express their side skills with their peers, strengthening bonds and boosting morale. I'm here to rock the boat, pop a quote, red and black flow. This is just a microwave, let the kernel grow, then it's butter up before you know you'll be home. Some sailors even wrote a rap song about their experiences in the Navy and the fleet on the aircraft carrier USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. Like my watch, automatic on a roll. This is our assignment, and I know it. Me never fall like a deja vu ting. Back in 2020, no part was the ting. Two or six days port that I never seen. Situation viral like COVID-19. Later, a video was recorded to match the song, which was appreciated by the entire naval community. It is things like these that truly separate the United States Navy from other navies around the world. In the vast expanse of the ocean, the aircraft carrier floats as a symbol of strength, unity, and resilience. Even a month-long mission on the aircraft carrier is a dream come true. From the fun games on the flight deck to the camaraderie shared in cramped quarters below deck, the sailors try to make the best of every moment on the aircraft carrier. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.